In the previous video, we uh, I showed you how to create a disk image. A disk image is always a good idea if you're uh, needing to recover uh, data from whatever kind of drive, in this case an SD card, which is corrupt. It's logically corrupt, so uh, physically it's okay. Um, but anyway, uh, it, I mean, a official data recovery technician will, it's his first step will always be uh, creating a disk image. Um, there's some advantages to that. We have a safety net because we never know if or and when uh, the uh, patient drive, so to speak, will fail. And also um, SD cards are kind of slow, also depending on how you access them. And um, having a image file, for example, stored on a SSD drive will uh, improve the uh, read speed at the point at the stage where we try to recover the actual images so i'll be using jpeg digger but the, the image file created by jpeg digger can be read by any uh, decent file recovery program and analyzed um, we select our disk image uh, this is the one we created in the previous video we okay that okay this happens if uh, jpeg there cannot uh, get the parameters uh, the start of the file system and the block size from the boot record of the drive we okay that unlike yesterday where we uh, or in the previous video where we created the image we don't use the manual option we click help me determine the values and it will basically uh, scan the drive until it's uh, satisfied it has found the correct values and the percentage is not so much uh, the amount of data it's scanned but it's uh, more of a uh, confidence value and the higher the percentage the more confident it is about um, the solution uh, the solution for uh, finding the start of the file system and the block size the block size is uh, can be one sector or um, or multiple sectors much like the cluster size so one sector two sectors four sectors eight sectors 16 sector sectors etc depending on how much data there is on the drive this may take longer to determine we'll just okay and now we start scanning Even in uh, situations where um, JPEG, JPEG Digger does not prompt you, so it, it extracted those values from the boot sector, if you start scanning, you see high entropy data, but it does not detect files. Maybe let it scan 10%, and if it still did, didn't detect any files, then it makes uh, sense to cancel and uh, override and uh, click help me determine values and then you'll often see that it will start detecting files it basically means the um, data inside the boot sector is incorrect and this may happen for example if you uh, reformat a drive with uh, different parameters like uh, FAT32 to XFAT or something like that. Different devices may also use slightly different values there, so it may make a difference if you um, use a in-camera format or a uh, Windows format.
I'll uh, let this run for a while and pause it and then uh, come back when we're uh, almost done scanning. So now we're always done, almost done scanning. And um, just like in the video where we created the image, we see the same entropy. Again, this large black area where absolutely no data is found. And towards the end of the file, it starts detecting uh, more files. So it's always a good idea to scan start all the way up to the end. You may be tempted if, if it stays black for a long time to assume, okay, it has done detecting files, it's done. You may expect the files to be at the start of the drive. This is what you would normally expect when files are saved. But for some reason, in this case, uh, these files are at the end of the drive. Uh, theoretically, it could be that the drive was full and this portion was simply erased or uh, anyway there are circumstances that can uh, cause this but I have seen this more often a large area of nothing and then all of a sudden uh, some more files it's not just some files it's uh, a good portion of the files that ended up here Okay, scan is complete. Now to recover the files, I mean, you could go um, uh, start selecting individual files you want back, but it's probably much easier to just select them all and uh, copy them. Uh, I made a folder for it. And it starts saving the files. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't do it correctly, I guess. Yeah, there we are. Well, these are the full resolution photos. Um, okay, you see it works, I will cancel it. Um, you don't get um, thumbnails. Um, I mean, um, with other carvers you, carvers, you often see all kinds of different sizes and uh, separate thumbnails, but since the uh, minimum resolution was set those thumbnails are skipped and uh, it's also skipping corrupt files by default and it's uh, not including duplicates so basically that's a standard uh, file recovery using uh, jpeg digger that's all for uh, now